So parasocial interaction is an exposure to something in the mass media or online that garners interest in a particular persona. Right? It turns into frequently a parasocial relationship if you get repeated exposure to the media persona causing the media user to develop illusions of intimacy, friendship, and identification. Positive information learned about the media persona results in increased attention and the relationship progresses. Uh, parasocial relationships are enhanced due to trust and self-disclosure vulnerability provided by the media persona. Media users tend to be loyal and feel directly connected to the persona, much as they feel connected to their close real-life friends. And it's from observing and interpreting the media persona's appearance, gestures, voice, conversation, and conduct. So media personas tend to have a significant amount of influence over media users. And there are many positive and negative effects of parasocial relationships. So the more empty your real life, the more likely you are to develop intense and frequently an audience to provide you with attention, right? The less likely you are to tra trigger stalkers and unhealthy attention. Dennis Prager deliberately tries to cultivate a parasocial relationship with his audience, right? He wants to be a virtual friend and a virtual father figure, and this gives him more influence, but it comes at the price of all sorts of people develop disproportionate and unhealthy parasocial fixations on him, which uh, I'm sure has often been a pain for Dennis Prager, and I'm sure that's also true for me. I think I, at times I developed an unhealthy parasocial uh, relationship with Dennis Prager, even though I, you know, knew him a little bit in real life. We were never friends, right? We were never close, but, you know, we, we did have good relations for, for years. I remember when I first met him, he said, oh, look, you know, I, I feel like I can die happy knowing that there will be people like you who will carry on the work. I don't know how many countless dozens of people he may have said that to, but uh, it, was, it was overwhelming when I heard that back in ah, February 1994, when I first met Dennis Prager in person, it was at a conservative synagogue in Tampa Bay. Anybody that will make this kind of stupid argument, either the community, right? Yeah, yeah. Do you think this can happen, Chris? This is a genuine question. We talk about cultish dynamics and the somewhat unhealthy social dynamics that can happen between gurus and their audience. But I can also see how that kind of behavior on the part of destiny, one could fall into it easily.